Welcome to IC 3D people. My name's Joe and today I'm just bringing the awareness of this amazing deal that's currently available on Humble Bundle. If you're not aware of Humble Bundle, it is basically a collection of um, items that gives you the ability to, to buy it in a bundle effectively and pay a heavily reduced price. Um, so this one is uh, based around uh, first person shooters um, and it is also mainly for Unity developers but there is a lot here for other developers. So if you're Unreal or uh, whatever, um, there, there's plenty here for you. Uh, so let's jump in to see what you get. The first one, which is uh, probably, they always usually have the, the best one at the start, the Ultimate FPS Package. This is a, a first person shooter engine, I guess, within an engine. Uh, so this is helps you within Unity and gives you a lot of tools to basically um, really streamline your first person shooter. Um, this, this developer ops, Opsiv is uh, also they've got a whole bunch of other stuff. So if you wanted to do like first person controller for around melee weapons, they've got I think they have behavior trees and things like that. So there's there's a lot here. There's a huge community, um, and I've played around this with before, and it's really really good. So if you are a new developer and you're planning to make an FPS, I highly recommend this one. Um, and again, look the the price here is seventy five dollars. Um, if you go into the Humble Bundle, the most you're going to be paying here is, is, is AU $34, which equates to about $25 American. So already you're, you're, you're going to be getting quite a lot there. Um, now, there are, just before we go any further, there are some tiers here, $1.36 and $33, $32. And they equate to 9 and 4 Unless there's something specifically you just need in this one, um, yeah, then the 9 then the nine item bundle is so close to the the twenty six bundle. I don't know why you would wouldn't just spend the extra few dollars to get um, the twenty six bundle. Um, let's move on to the next one. So the next one is the sci fi character mega pack. So this is an asset pack. So this is what this is one of the items which is going to be good for everyone. Um, so you can see there's quite a lot of assets in here, and they all look very very cool. Um, they're all triple A quality, and you can use it for whatever purpose. Um, again, this is worth. At, at retail, it's two hundred and forty-nine dollars, and again, you're paying twenty-five dollars. So, you know, th it's worth it just for these two um, basic packages to start with. Um, now, uh, let's jump on to the next one. You also have a character movement fundamentals. Um, again, I'm not going to jump into this one, but this just seems like another uh, first-person uh, first-person controller um, to give you some head start in making a controller. Um, we have a highlight plus. This looks like one of those type of things where you hover or click on something and it makes an outline and highlights it. Um, these two here are two games that you currently get. You can get these from Steam. Um, so again, you get playable games and if you're into World War II um, or World War One, I, I guess, um, type um, games, then this should be right up your alley. The next one we're looking into is the uh, Polarith AI Pro. So this is an AI system. Let's quickly jump into this one. So um, this just looks like they've had a recently update. Again, ninety-five dollars is the worth. Um, so it's quite good. Um, so it offers you all you need for achieving state-of-the-art movement AI with just a few clicks. Design complex between and create immersive games, tarnishing simulations by taking advantage of the sophisticated workflow. So, um, yeah, if you need an AI system, this should be really helpful. Uh, so the next one we've got is a sensor toolkit. So that looks like kind of not quite AI, but it's giving you some sensory type things and um, giving you the ability to, um, I'm guessing it's using some line tracing or something like that in there. Uh, impact, so this is in physics and impacts. I'm not going into a hell of a lot of detail in this, but you know, if you do want me to do a bit more of a tutorial on any of these, just put it down in the comments. I'll happily do one. Um, so this is, uh, uh, this looks like it might be for VR. Maybe not. Um, but yeah, it's just showing you the physics interactions. That's enough on that one. Um, then we have uh, 18 types of melee weapons, so a bunch of so a bunch of guns. Yeah, and you can see here, there's a lot of lot of guns there. Um, so yeah, for your first person shooter. 
the next one is the last apocalyptic world so in here again this is another asset pack so um, again the 34.95 so it's you know so we can have a quick look in here to see what you get um, so it's looking pretty good yeah, as you can imagine, post -apocalyptic, what a post-apocalyptic world would look like. And we'll just look at some of these pictures, but yeah, a lot of a lot of great assets that you can use in your game. Um, let's keep going. Uh, pro tips: as a tooltip system, uh, we've got another AI system here, um, and I think this is an honor AI. I think these two sort of match together and work together in some way. Um, whatever AI system that is. Um, running gun explosions of sound. So again, this is one for um, everyone, um, and, and so is this apocalyptic world, but by the way, and the animated hands with weapons packs, so you can use those in any of them. Um, this is running gun explosion of sound, so again, sounds, you can just export that out of Unity and, and use that in your game if you're Unreal or whatever. Col colossal game music, so again, more music. Um, sci-fi GUI Pro Kit, okay, so if you're making a sci-fi survival game, you've got some GUI, um, uh, GUI uh, elements there, some more gun sounds, uh, this is some sci-fi weapon packs, so again, another more, more asset packs, so quite a lot there for you to, to, to use in your sci-fi game. Um, then we've got the footsteps and folly sounds, so more sounds, um, another environment pack, so desert environment, desert environment pack, we also have Jew TPS, which looks to be a third-person shooter system. So, um, yeah, even a third-person controller in there as well. Um, and shooting ranges, interiors. So, yeah, some more interiors um, and assets. Yeah, so like I said, um, if you're looking for a good deal and assets, and even if you don't think you're going to use them, it might be worth getting for something down in the, down in the future. Um I've provided a link down in the description. Full disclosure, I am a partner with Humble Bundle, so if you do use it, I will get a little kickback. Um, you can, it won't cost any more to you, but you can also adjust uh, how much I get, so it's totally up to you if you want to give me any at all, um, but it really will support me in making this channel bigger and better. Um, and to the end of that, yeah, again, if you if you want to see any more on any of these items, um, just, just let me know in the comments, and I'll uh, try and make something on that. Uh, until next time, guys, take care. See you later. Bye.